my channel. Welcome back to another cooking video. Today's video, I am going to be making Instant Pot recipes. These are very easy to transform into regular one pot recipes as well. I just love the Instant Pot, the convenience of it, and how fast a meal can come together with an Instant Pot. These are filled with flavor, and I absolutely love every one of these recipes, and I hope that you do too. So without further ado, let's go make some Instant Pot meals. All right, so first up, we are making these Instant Pot cheese steaks. These come together in literally like 20 minutes. They're so good too. So it's gonna start with one yellow onion, a green bell pepper, and a colored bell pepper. I had a yellow, so that's what I used. And then I have about a pound of steak here. I just sliced it very, very thin thin um, and then over to our instant pot I completely forgot to press the record button when I was making this but I did add in a cup of beef broth and a teaspoon of garlic powder we are just going to pressure cook this for just three minutes that's all it takes um, and then we are going to put them in our wheat rolls I used wheat rolls you can use whatever you want um, and then I just topped it with some provolone cheese and I just put this in the oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese was nice and bubbly and the bread was nice and crispy what they came out like i'm telling you guys these are so good and the fun thing about this is that you can really make these your own any way you want you can add whatever seasonings you want you can change up the cheese the bread is just so so good for a weeknight meal Next up, we're gonna be making a cracked chicken pasta. I do have a recipe like this on my channel that is similar, um, but that is for the slow cooker. So I decided to come up with one for the Instant Pot. So I got this new cutting board. I love this cutting board. It has these cheese graters and everything just all integrated right into the cutting board. So I am just grating an entire block of Colby Jack cheese. And you can see that it just falls right into this little compartment underneath. Um, so I just put that off to the side. Now I am cutting up about a cup of scallions. These are just going to be what we top our chicken pasta with. Um, and then of course I'm putting this off to the side as well. I'm learning as I go with this little cutting board because I know that you can kind of scrape it on over to the side to put the veggies or whatever you're cutting right inside the little blocks so this I have about I've got like a about eight pieces of bacon here that I chopped up and then I put that to, off to the side and then of course we need some chicken for our chicken pasta so I've got about a pound and a half of chicken breasts and I dice them pretty small <music> will also link this cutting board down below. It is not sponsored. I just really love it and think it's so convenient. Now over to our Instant Pot, I am going to just be cooking the bacon. You don't need any oil on the bottom of the pot because there is plenty of oils that are going to be coming out of the bacon. And that's going to take about eight minutes until it gets nice and crispy. Then I'm going to remove the bacon from the pan and we're going to cook the chicken right in that bacon grease. And I have a packet of ranch dressing here. Just give this a really good mix and cook for about two minutes or until the chicken is nice and browned all over. Now we're going to put in this entire box of but butterfly pasta. You can use any short pasta that you want. And then I've got three cups of chicken broth and two cups of water. Give this a really good mix. Making sure that you are scraping the bottom of the pot so you get all of those bits off the bottom and it also prevents it from burning and make sure everything is nice and submerged. We're going to pressure cook this for about eight minutes and then once it's all done we're going to add in a block of cubed cream cheese so that would be eight ounces of cream cheese and then we're going to add in the Colby Jack shredded cheese and of course our bacon. And now we're just gonna top it with our green onions and this is what the dish comes out like. It's so, so good, you guys. I'm telling you, the flavors of this cracked chicken is just amazing. Whoever invented it is a literal genius. <laughs> Next up, we are making taco chicken chili and this came out so, 
so good. So I am going to be using one large yellow onion, a green and a red bell pepper, and then I'm using these jalapenos. If you ever look at a jalapeno and you want to know how hot they are, the streaks on the side of the jalapeno are what tells you how intense they're going to be. Um, of course, I did de-seed them. I really just wanted the smoky flavor of a jalapeno. I put that off to the side, and now I am going to be dicing up one large zucchini and mincing up four cloves of garlic. And I've got about a pound of chicken breast. I diced them pretty small, put that off to the side. Um, and then of course, over to our Instant Pot, pretty much this is like a dump and go Instant Pot recipe. You literally put everything right into the Instant Pot. So we're gonna throw in all of our veggies, peppers, onions, garlic, zucchini. Um, and then I've got two cans of cannellini beans here. I did not drain them because the liquid will help. And then I've got two cups of chicken broth. We're gonna put the chicken in here and then one cup of almond milk. Now you can use whatever kind of milk you want. Now I did put in two tablespoons of taco seasoning. However, when it was all finished, I wound up adding a little bit more just because it didn't come through as much as we'd like. So I would suggest doing about three tablespoons of taco seasoning. And then we're going to pressure cook this for 25 minutes. After that time is up, we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt. You could also use sour cream here. That's up to you. Taste as you go. I wound up seasoning it up with a little bit more salt and pepper just so I can make sure that it was nice and flavorful for us. And then we are going to just give this a really good stir. And then I'm actually going to take this potato masher and I'm going to crush up some of the beans. This will help thicken up the soup. Here is what the dish comes out like. I just topped it with a little bit of mozzarella cheese. You, It was honestly all I had in my fridge, but you can use whatever you want. You can even use some avocado and cilantro. That would be delicious as well. And this was just another really good, super delicious meal. Last up, we're making root beer pulled pork. This takes a little time in the pressure cooker, but I promise it is so worth it. So I've got about two pounds of pork here, and I'm gonna use this whole bottle of barbecue sauce. You can use whatever kind you want. It is about 12 ounces. And then I am going to use a cup of root beer and to make sure I get all that sauce, I put that right into the bottle and shook it up. Um, and then we are going to be using a packet of this onion soup. All you have to do is put the lid on and pressure cook it. We're going to pressure cook this for 45 minutes. Once the pork is all done, I've just used these bear claws to really just shred the pork up. And just so you know, when you do pressure cook this, it does not come out as soft as if you were going to slow cook it. So it does take a little bit more elbow grease, but it still comes out pretty delicious. I'm gonna add this right back into that delicious root beer and barbecue sauce, give it a good mix. And if you just bring it to a little bit of a boil on the saute mode, it thickens up the sauce beautifully. And then I'm just going to put these on some hamburger buns that I toasted and I'm going to top it with some fresh coleslaw and this is so good. It is great for a weeknight meal. It's great for a barbecue. It's great for so many things. I just served it with some chips and of course another family winner. today's video. I hope that you got some kind of inspiration out of it. If you do have a new Instant Pot or if you just haven't even opened yours yet, because I know there's a lot of people that have Instant Pots that very rarely ever use them. So I hope this inspired you too. So if you did like this video and you enjoyed it, I would love to have you hit that like button down below. And if you want to stick around, join the family, hit the red subscribe button right below the video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.